Good morning, welcome to this week's video. Um, this week, nothing really planned. I've just come up onto the top of the Quantox tri tripod, camera bag, camera, a few lenses. Just gonna go for a walk and uh, see what catches my eye. So as some of the regular viewers to this channel probably realize that um, the photography is not full-time for me. Um, I've got a full-time job, so I just have to work the photography in around around my days off, try and uh, put, a, put a video together. Um, needless to say, normally when I'm working, the conditions are absolutely fantastic. And then you get to the weekend or days off, and we've got fantastic grey skies, thick cloud, no real definition, just flat grey skies, and um, no great light, but so be it. We have to uh, deal with what we've got at the time. So, like I said, got no real plan as such for today's video. Just gonna get out, do a walk, and see what catches my eye. I'm gonna try and walk out around a few areas that I've not been to, certainly for a long time, and um, I've certainly never, never photographed or vlogged. So I'm gonna walk out and try those areas. And then there's a bit of woodland to walk back through as well as. So um, I'm sure, I'm sure that something, something will catch my eye. Found my first subject. Um, which is a bit of a spindly old tree. Um, let me just spin you around, let you over that. Okay, so this tree caught my eye, but I um, was struggling to get a composition. Finished up opting. I have literally got the camera set straight on the straight on the floor. No tripod, straight on the floor, and then. I'm using a function on this Z7 II, which not really used before, but actually in this circum instance, it's working really well. Let me just talk you through it. It's my camera right down in the grass. Obviously, I've got it set at two seconds as well. Um, but because of the situation trying to struggle around, um, I've got the screen set on the, on the screen. You've got certain, um, so I've got position focus point, which is just basically to position my focus point using the touch screen. Um, touch autofocus, which will, wherever I touch in the screen, will focus to that area. And then I've also got touch shutter and autofocus, which then what I'm doing is touching on an area of the screen that I want to focus to. I've set at two seconds as well. And then, so I'm getting a shot. So I'm, I'm getting a touch in the foreground there where I want to focus. Touching over in this mid-ground to focus, touching the tree to focus, and I've also touched off into infinity to get a focus. So that would give me various focus points that I can then blend together. So I'm quite liking that uh, function using that screen. Like I say, it's not a function I use very often, but circumstance when I've got it on a tripod, I can see better. But when the camera's right down low in the grass like that, um, and it was difficult to difficult to operate without moving um, 
the composition slightly by just touching that screen very lightly i could get a uh, focus point in different positions so yeah all good so if that shot comes out okay here it is This morning is just absolutely dead calm. There's not a breath of air going. Um, a bit later than I would normally come out. There's already several dog walkers and walkers out and about. But um, like people right off in the distance because it's so calm I can hear, hear them, hear their dogs. Um, so yeah, that's why I, now the lighter mornings are coming, it's starting to draw back. That's why I like to get out nice and early before everybody else is about. So these things here remind me of when my uh, when my good old granddad was in the fire brigade. Um, these hung around on the contacts. They're fire beaters. They're for beating out any bushfire that's around, keeping the fire back. Um, bit contradictory, I guess, because I would guess, you know, if you're beating a fire, you're fanning a fire, and but they do work, beating the fire down. So yeah, still a few scattered around. Not so many as there used to be years ago, but still a few scattered around on the contacts. So some lovely views up here, looking right back over the the Seven Estuary and the. The entrance to the River Parrot there, looking back over towards Burnham and Weston. And then, probably can't see it on here, but you've got the uh, Hinkley Point C, well, Hinkley Point Power Stations with Hinkley Point C being built around. And then out in the channel, we've got Steep Home, Flat Home, around looking across to the Welsh coast. Okay, so. Just capturing this shot here now. Uh, probably a bit more of a record shot. It's, it may look okay, but um, using these these ferns that are all died off here, the orange in them as the foreground, and that tree that side, and that tree that side, just holding the edges together on the frame in either side. And then we've got these trees and this. The other hill over there, which is Woodlands Hill, is the mid-ground. And then off in the background there, we've got the Hinkley Point C and the uh, Western Supermare and um, Breen Down sticking out there at the back. So, to say, just getting the shot, not sure what it would look like. Do a bit of tweaking when we get it back on the computer. So, once I've sorted it, here it is. Okay, so from up on the top, I um, don't think there's too much more to offer up here, to be honest. So I'm going to drop down over now um, into the coombe to the side of me, which is a frog coombe, I believe. I'm um, going to drop down into there, drop down into the trees, and then work my way back up through there. Um, I'm interested in checking out because it does look like there's some nice ancient twisted trees in there so although the conditions today aren't great for woodland photography when we have got a bit of fog and mist if it's good down there i know it'll be a place to place to think about in the future so let's find a suitable pathway here and um drop down over into a frog coon
Okay, so I've only literally come through the edge of this woodland and already I'm getting a nice feel about it in the right misty conditions it would be um, it would be great right I'm going to walk down see if we can find some twisted old twisted old trees which there's already a few around here but I'm sure there's better to offer so okay let's walk a bit deeper see what we can find okay so shooting this scene here picking up on this nice tree here and then we've got a pathway leading off there and then the hill coming down in there which is giving us a light so we've got like a v v shape there with the tree in the frame itself i've actually set the tree just to the left hand third um shooting at f4 iso 64 um i've done a focus on the tree um but the shoot i'm shooting at f4 nice and wide to um to soften that background so that, that background soft the tree will be a bit more prominent um i have also taken a separate shot for this foreground so that i can blend that in um as well as so we'll have the foreground here and that tree nice and sharp and then the background will just be softened with that wide aperture get this shot up there's a shot i'm not sure if you can see it there is a bit of reflection there but there's a shot in the camera um yeah looking quite nice obviously it would be better with a bit of fog and mist but like i say we can't have everything so let's stroll further down into this woodland and see what we can see So peaceful here in these woods, just like a couple of deer going through above me. Um, unfortunately, by the time I even could even think about changing and putting a longer lens on, they spotted me and, and were gone. Um, so I'm just going to be a bit quiet and just walk on steady, just in case we see any more a bit further on. So, yeah, just making my way up through nice and quiet. Okay, another shot here, just using this fallen arched old tree here with some twisted vines around it as well as um, using that other sort of stump in the foreground there as a foreground. Again, shoot F4 to soften that background because obviously it's uh, with no mist or anything, the, the background is is obviously quite busy. So shooting at f4 to uh, keep that fairly shallow depth of field a couple of focuses one on that fallen tree and one on the, the foreground and then the back doesn't matter if it's soft anyway so yep another shot in the bag There are several of these up through here. Um, that's like a like the base of a bigger tree that in the past has obviously gone blown over, snapped off, and then another sapling has taken to the root and grown off of it. So yeah, there's a few of these around. They're quite interesting. So I've just taken a shot of this one. Here you have a look. Put it up just so you can see. See what I'm seeing.
from a morning's walk with absolutely no plan at all I've actually stumbled on an incredible bit of woodland um, it's almost like Wisman's wood on the Quantox but without the boulders uh, the mossy boulders but still some of the old old trees twisted trees <sighs> given the right conditions this would be an amazing area so I 100% will be coming back to here but for this week that's pretty much me done um, I have taken a few shots that I haven't spoken through so I will put them up in the gallery at the end so but until that gallery comes up until then thanks again for watching please hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with my latest content and also give this video a thumbs up because it really does help with the uh, YouTube analytics and also personally drop me a comment down below it's always great to get feedback so from the top of the Quantox till next time take it easy